Hello again, it's our third installment of adding and subtracting rational expressions. At least I think it's our third installment. And what we're going to do is do this problem, but we have to factor it first. And I assure you, if you get past the factoring, it's not that bad. It's actually quite pleasant of a problem. That's a subtraction. I don't know if you can see that. And basically what it reads is 2x minus 1 over the quantity x squared plus 2x subtract 8, all subtracted by quantity x plus 1 times the quantity x squared minus 4. It's good to think about it like that because then people aren't going to try canceling things that they can't cancel right away. Uh, I can't do anything with 2x minus 1. I can't take out a GCF, etc. So I'm done. I can't take out a GCF from the second, uh, excuse me, the denominator in the first fraction, but I can uh, factor it into two binomials. And uh, positive and negative make a negative. X times X is X squared. And what times what is negative 8, but adds up to positive 2, that's 4 and 2. And I'm going to subtract x plus 1. And this is the difference of two perfect squares, x squared subtracted 4. Uh, difference of two perfect squares is when there's a difference, two terms, and both terms are perfect squares. x and x, plus and minus, 2 and 2. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now I have this problem. Again, go back to the Napoleon Dynamite example that I talk about. Uh, when I do this, it's not clear. There, that looks more clear. And what I do is I say, well, what does this denominator have that this one wants, etc. You know, like, I want that. Well, let's figure out what it wants. So this has an x plus 4 and an x subtracted 2, but it doesn't have, well, okay, so it has an x subtracted 2, that's good. It doesn't have an x plus 2, so give it an x plus 2. But what you do on the bottom of an expression, you do on the top of an expression. Now this has an x plus 2, okay, has an x subtracted 2, it needs a quantity x plus 4. Now when I'm doing this problem, leave the denominator alone. It's both of them are now the same. Uh, now I'm just going to foil the, uh, excuse me, foil or distribute the numerators and then subtract them accordingly. So here we go. x times 2x is 2x squared. x times negative 1 is negative x. 2 times 2x is 4x. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Oh, I wish, I wish I had more room. x times x is x squared, but it's negative x squared. x times 4 is 4x, but it's negative 4x. 1 times x is 1x, but it's negative 1x. And 1 times 4 is 4, and it's actually a negative 4. Woo, I hope I can see that. And it's all over x plus 2. x plus 4, x minus 2. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify the numerator, but before I do that, I'm going to erase this part so I have some room. And continue. So 2x squared subtracted 1x squared is 1x squared, or x squared. Negative x plus 4x, well, here we go. Negative x plus 4x minus 4x minus 1x all at the same time. 4x and negative 4x cancel. Negative x, negative x again, or negative 1x is negative 2x. And then negative 2 subtract 4 is negative 6. Looks good to me. Over x plus 2. x plus 4. x subtract 2. So that's what I have right now. That's 3x, negative 1x, negative 2x, negative 6. Over that. I can't factor x squared subtracted 2x subtracted 6, so I'm done. That's my answer. If I could, I would, but I can't. That's all I can do for right now. Have a good day.